Good morning. I'm Anshana Pimanyantan and I'm from Tripraya. So today I'm going to teach you English subject. So well, hope you all are fine. So how are your lockdown days going on? These are lockdown days. Okay, but you should not lock up your books and your brain. Hope you know the importance of this year for you. Yes, this is 10th standard. This is your board exam. In this year you have to appear your you are going to appear your board exam so you should take it very seriously okay so now let's move on to our first unit glimpses of green okay so the title itself glimpses of green what does it signifies have you got any idea glimpses of green glimpses of green means the title itself signifies the nature the nature around us isn't it so nature is that much important to us life is impossible without nature so consider a situation where there are no trees around then how will you live how will you get oxygen how will you get fruits to eat then how will you survive so that much important is for uh, that much nature is that much important isn't it and nature and human beings both are dependent both are dependent and there is a mutual harmony existing between human beings and nature okay so this chapter uh, in this unit glimpses of green there are three chapters Adventures in a banyan tree, the snake and the mirror, and the lines written in early spring. So today we are going to deal with the first chapter, the adventures in a banyan tree, which is written by Reskin Bond. Okay, before that, take your English course text. In the first unit, first page, unit 1, glimpses of green. Okay, the title of picture itself. See, look at this picture. Here we can see a man and here we can see the nature. So this picture itself represents the blend of man with nature. The blend of man with nature. Okay. So this itself, from this it is very clear that man and nature are interdependent and there is a mutual harmony existing between man, human beings and nature. Okay. Then, before dealing with the chapter, have you heard about haiku poems? Haiku. Have you heard anything about that? Okay, haiku. What is, what is haiku poems? These are three line poems. Three line poems. And these are of Japanese in origin. Japanese poem. Japan, three line Japanese poem. Okay, in the next page itself, page number 8, there is one haiku poem. The mountain mist hovering over the pines and ponds unveils the heaven. That is a haiku poem, three line poem. Okay, three line poem about nature. This is a three line poem about nature. Okay, so I will give you a homework. You should also write a three line poem about nature. Okay, only a three line poem. I hope everyone can do that. A three line poem about nature. Three line haiku poem about nature. Okay. Now let's move on to the first chapter. Adventures in a banyan tree. So we should at first know the author. Isn't it? We should at first know the author of the story. The author is Reskin Bond. Reskin Bond. And uh, take page number 9 and the profile of the author is depicted uh, below the, in the text. Okay, I will read that. Reskin Bond, he was born on 19th May 1934. He is an Indian author of British descent. And his father was an officer at Royal Air Force. He wrote his first novel, The Room on the Roof. At the age of 17. So his first novel was The Room on the Roof. And he wrote that at the age of 17. It got John Levelin Rice Prize in 1957. In 1957 he got 
John Levelin's Rice Prize in 1957 for his first novel, The Room on the Roof. And his first children's book was The Angry River. His first children's book was The Angry, the Angry River. And in 1992, he received the Sahitya Academy Award for his story collection, Our Trees Still Grow in Dara. Our Trees Still Grow in Dara. And for this work, for this collection, he got the Sahitya Academy Award. Then he was awarded the Padma Sri in 1999 for his contributions to children's literature. And he also got the Lifetime Achievement Award in 2017 and he now lives with his adopted family in Lanto near Missouri. Okay, this is the profile of the author, Raskin Bond. It is very important to read the profile of the author. It is very important for your exams also. Okay, so now let's move on to the story, Adventures in a Banyan Tree. So you all might know what is Banyan Tree. Isn't it in Malayalam? You all know. Uh, what is Banyan Tree? What is Banyan Tree? Yes, Almara. Okay, so adventures in a banyan tree. So let me ask you before starting the story, let me ask you how many of you, well, how do you spend your holidays? How do you usually spend your holidays? Sometimes you might go to your uncle's home, your grandmother's home, your aunt's home, isn't it? Everyone will be busy going somewhere or the other to stay there, isn't it? For two or three, for one month, for two, three days, you might go to your uncle's house or your grandmother's house, isn't it? So this story is also, we also have a character. Here, one thing you should uh, take, you should consider is that the Reskin Bond is the narrator in this story. Here, the author, Reskin Bond, is the narrator of the story and he is telling the song story, okay? Then in early days, in his childhood days, he used to spend in his grandfather's house, in his grandfather's house. And he is writing his experience there, in his grandfather's house, in this in a story. Okay, so uh, the uh, Reskin Bond is telling that uh, he used to spend his uh, holidays in his grandfather's house. And in that house, nearby that house, there is one banyan tree and he proudly he is saying that I owe that banyan tree. A banyan tree is on the manner. Why he is telling like that? Because his grandfather is very old. So he cannot climb that banyan tree. Because his grandfather is very old, he is weak and he cannot climb that banyan tree. Grandfather and then Vaisa Garnam Abinantri climbed the Amitlia. So I owe that Benian tree, that magnificent Benian tree. He is telling that that magnificent Benian tree. Then his 60, that his grandfather is 65 and he could no, long, no longer climb it. And his grandmother used to stare at him. His grand, grandmother used to stare at his grandfather and she used to tell like a story, a count of Desmond, Countess of Desmond. That uh, she is an English woman and she is 107 age, one, 117 sorry, the age, she was at the age of 170 but she, came, she climbed an apple tree and she fell down. And his grandmother always she used to tell that if the Countess of Desmond didn't climb that apple tree, then she won't die. Only because she climbed that apple tree, she died. So she used to tell this story to his grandfather. So that the grandfather will, would not climb that uh, tree. Okay. Then, the banyan tree. You know, banyan tree is one of the oldest one, one, uh, one a tree, one of such tree that has the longest lifespan, isn't it? So the author is telling that the branches of the banyan tree is curved to the ground, and it became it forming a maze of arches. The branches of this tree, branches of this banyan tree, is curved underground, forming a maze of arches. Let me picture. Let me mind it. Now, 
ശ്രാൽമരം ഭയങ്കരമായിട്ട് ഇങ്ങനെ പടർന്ന് പന്തലിച്ചു നിൽക്കുന്നതാണ് അല്ലെ അപ്പൊ അതിന്റെ റൂട്ട്സ് ഒക്കെ ഇങ്ങനെ നന്നായി സ്പ്രെഡ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് ഉണ്ടാവും അത്രയും ഓൾഡസ്റ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ട്രീ ആണ് ഏറ്റവും അധികം ലൈഫ് സ്പാൻ ഉള്ള ഒരു ട്രീ ആണ് ആൽമരം സോ അതിന്റെ ആ ഒരു ഇമേജ് നമ്മുടെ മൈൻഡില് ഉണ്ടാവും അല്ലെ ആൽമരത്തിന്റെ ഒരു ഇമേജ് നമ്മുടെ മൈൻഡിൽ ഉണ്ടാവും അപ്പൊ ദ നെറേറ്റർ ഇസ് ടെലിംഗ് ദാറ്റ് ദ ട്രീ വോസ് ഓൾഡർ ദാൻ ദ ഹൗസ് ദിസ് ബനിയൻ ട്രീ ഇസ് ഓൾഡർ ദാൻ ദ ഹൗസ് then the older than his grandfather and older as the town of dera the uh, his the this um, what banian shri is older than his house older than his grandfather and older than the town of dera so that much life span has this banian shri has okay so uh, so it is very, from this paragraph it is very clear that this uh, he the house is located in the food hills of himalayas in the town which town dara town dara town okay then uh, then in the next paragraph the author is telling about a friend can you guess who will be his friend this chapter is relating to related with nature so who will be his friend the narrator is telling that his first friend is a small gray squirrel his first friend was a small gray squirrel then his at first this uh, squirrel this squirrel at first is afraid of the boy and he resented the presence of the boy he used to he has a fear that this boy will somehow harm him or not. so at first uh, he didn't mind the boy and he was at a fear he was fear he was fearful that the boy will harm the squirrel but later the squirrel realized that the boy doesn't have any um, catapult or air gun catapult do you know what the meaning of catapult catapult means uh, kavana in malayalam we can say that kavana so the boy realized that uh, sorry the squirrel realized that the boy doesn't have a catapult or air gun so the squirrel became more friendlier more friendlier with the boy and other than that the boy used to give him give the squirrel pieces of uh, bread rice or something like cake pieces something like that so the squirrel became more friendlier with the boy okay now uh, he his he became friendlier so that he will come and take that uh, take that uh, uh, what food pieces from the boy's hand okay then he used to search his pockets he used to this so so the squirrel he keeps on delving into the pockets of the boy to find out something new to find out something some food items from his pocket but his friends and relatives whose friends the squirrel's friends and relatives thought him to be foolish thought him as foolish for trusting a human why it's like that because the human especially children sometimes children used to harm some small animals uh, by uh, using that catapult or uh, catapult or that air guns they used to harm animals so because of that the relatives and friends of the squirrel consider him as foolish for trusting a human okay then in the spring season Uh, the banyan tree was full of small red figs and many birds keep on uh, they flock into its branches all kinds of birds come on and flock uh, they came and flock into the branches parrots crows then bulbul the the, the uh, banyan tree became a home for them because it's a fig season it's a spring season it's a time of flowering it's a time of blossoming so all kinds of uh, birds came on they the banyan tree became a place for their uh, survival so they came uh, and the uh, narrator is telling that the uh, fig season that banyan tree is became the noisiest place on the road the banyan tree became the noisiest place on the road in this road because all kinds of birds came on flock, flocking each other and they came on squabbling with each other all the time and during this fig season the banyan tree was the noisiest place in the road then then the narrator 
he keep on spending his afternoon uh, time uh, what he do really uh, what he used to do is that he built a platform on the halfway on the banyan entry he kept a he built a platform on the halfway of the banyan entry and there he used to sit and read his favorite books and uh, he also took a cushion from uh, his drawing room and he kept there on the he kept it there on the platform and there he keep on reading his fame his favorite books and uh, he listed some of his favorite books uh, huckleberry finn then mowgli stories treasure island the novels of edgar rice burroughs these were the books that he selected for his reading purpose so it is very clear that the narrator the uh, the boy is very fond of reading and he has a good habit of reading so in the whenever he get time whenever the he is used to spend his afternoon time for reading purpose and he selected that halfway platform for his reading purpose then but that will be possible only if there wasn't much hot if um, if there was not that much that was if, the, if there wasn't too hot he used to sit there on the platform for his reading but whenever it is too hot and whenever he feels doesn't feel like reading what he used to do is that he just uh, look down through the banyan leaves and the world below and uh, now what all things are happening uh, his uh, sometimes his grandmother is uh, uh, grandmother is taking up the clothes and taking down the clothes and otherwise he she used to bargain with the vendor or his grandfather is looking at the marigold flowers and uh, then he used to uh, he used to see that activities whenever he whenever he doesn't feel like reading he used to watch all these activities going under the going in the underworld okay then uh, usually nothing very exciting happen these days these happenings are there usually nothing excited happens but one day something excited happened you should you, know, you do want to know what is that okay that we will deal in the next class okay so uh, hope you are clear with this portions and uh, one thing you should do is that you should read these portions very thoroughly although and you should take a pencil with you whenever you keep on reading you should take a pencil and you should mark down the difficult words or the new words and you should refer a glossary and find out the meaning of that words okay that is a homework activity for you then other than that there are some textual questions uh, here uh, so these are simple questions so try to answer that questions and the answers we will discuss in the next class and you should also have a, you also have an uh, homework a discourse uh, the, uh, an activity is there for you you should write a letter to your friend suppose you are a boy you are the boy in the story and you are writing you are uh, the you are writing to your friend okay you should write a letter to your friend talking about the acquaintance with the squirrel because friendship with the squirrel you had a, you the boy got a new friend who is that new friend yes squirrel so write a letter to a friend telling about the new friend okay so that is an activity for you to do try to uh, complete that activity okay in the last class uh, we have already discussed started a new chapter Adventures in a Banyan Tree, by which was written by Ruskin Bond. Hope you have read that portion uh, till we have taken. And I ask you to. I told you in the last class to write down the question answers, write down the textual questions, and also I have given a homework to do to write a letter to your friend. Hope you have done it. So now let's continue the chapter. Okay, the notes, the textual answers, question answers that I will give you. I will give you the questions and also uh, format of that lecture too. Uh, then now uh, let's continue the chapter. So in the last class we stopped like something excited, uh, something excited happened in the story. Okay, but we didn't know what is that. But now we are we are going to deal with that. Now we are going to discuss what happened in the story. Okay, so. 
Uh, it was uh, it was in April afternoon and a warm it was a time of a warm breeze and whenever a warm breeze touched your body or or tanatta kaatu nammude deerthu thattaanu nadu mugathu thattaanu so what will be the feeling yeah some kind of drowsiness is there like oru orkam thoongal pole oru namukku oru namukku oru orkam varna oru feeling aanu unda pole oru tanatta kaatu okka nammude mail തട്ടാണെങ്കിലും നമ്മുടെ കണ്ണിൽ കണ്ണിലൊക്കെ കടിക്കുമ്പോൾ ഒരു ഒരു ഉറക്കം വരുന്ന ഒരു ഫീലിംഗ് ആണ് അല്ലേ ഇറ്റ്സ് എ ടൈ ഇറ്റ്സ് എ ഫീലിംഗ് ഓഫ് ഡ്രൗസിങ്സ് സോ ദൻ എ ഡേ ടു ടു ഫെൽ ദാറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഹി ഹി വാസ് വണ്ടറിങ് വെദർ ഹി ഷുഡ് ഗോ ഫോർ ബാത്തിങ് ഹി വാസ് ടു ഹി ഷുഡ് ഗോ ടു ദ പോണ്ട് ബിഹൈൻഡ് ദ ഹൗസ് ഫോർ എ സ്വിം ഞാൻ റേറ്റർ ഇങ്ങനെ ചിന്തിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് എവിടെ പോകണം എങ്ങനെ എന്ത് എന്താ നീന്താൻ പോകുന്നു വീടിൻ്റെ ബാക്കിലുള്ള പോണ്ടിൽ നീന്താൻ പോകണോ എന്നൊക്കെ ഇങ്ങനെ ആലോചിച്ചിരിക്കുന്ന സമയമാണ് സോ അറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ടൈം സംതിങ് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിങ് സംതിങ് എക്സൈറ്റഡ് എക്സൈറ്റിങ് തിങ് ഹാപ്പൻ അറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ടൈം ഡു യു നോ വാട്ട് വാസ് ദാറ്റ് ടു ക്യാരക്ടേഴ്സ് കെയിം ഇൻ ദ സ്റ്റോറി എ കോബ്ര ആൻഡ് എ മങ്കൂസ് വാട്ട് അബൌട്ട് വെൻ വി ആർ സ്പീക്കിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് എ കോബ്ര ആൻഡ് എ മങ്കൂസ് ദെൻ do have uh, what is that relation is there a friendly relation between them no they are enemies isn't it pangum kiri eppolum nammal parayanadana eppolum we used to tell uh, we used to talk about that eppolum pangum kiri ne poleyana avare kaanumbe eppolum pangum kiri ne poleyana so they are enemies alle pangum kiri so these are the two characters that come to your story a mongoose and a snake and mongoose and a cobra okay so these two uh, mongoose and cobra came uh, uh, mongoose uh, um, cobra came from the cactus ayid mulchatti de day kude ana cobra irunathu pinna after that time uh, sometime after uh, who came uh, yeah mongoose mongoose also came to the story and uh, in a clearing in a bright sunshine they came face to face amana avare face to face aayittu nikkana so both both knew knew them very well cobra knew that his opponent is very powerful very aggressive and he is strong alle cobra ke ariyirunu cobra knew very well that the mongoose is very strong he is very aggressive and he has very much power to attack him at the same time mongoose also know that cobra is very uh, what uh, cobra is very uh, skillful and experienced fighter so both these competents are very fightful very skillful and they are experienced fighters so let's see what is uh, going to be happen between them and so it was to be a battle of champions it was to be a battle of champions something interesting is going to be happen so um, we will think about that who will win this match or who will win this uh, battle it's really confusing isn't it namku parayan pattilla aare irikum jeyikka ennalade is it cobra uh, ano mongoose ano jeyikka ennalade നമുക്കൊന്നും പറയാൻ പറ്റാത്ത ഒരവസ്ഥയായിട്ട് നിൽക്കുകയാണ് ബട്ട് ദ നരേറ്റർ ഇസ് ടെലിങ് ദാറ്റ് ദ ദേ കോബ്രയും അതുപോലെ മങ്കൂസും കണ്ടില്ല വേർ ഹി ഈസ് സിറ്റിംഗ് നരേറ്റർ ഈസ് സിറ്റിംഗ് ഇൻ ദ ടോപ്പ് ഓഫ് ദ ട്രീ ആൻഡ് ഹി ഈസ് സെയിങ് ഓൾ ദാറ്റ് ഹാപ്പനിങ് ഹാപ്പനിങ് അണ്ടർ ഗ്രൗണ്ട് ഹി ഹാപ്പനിങ് ഇൻ ദ ഗ്രൗണ്ട് ബട്ട് ദ കോബ്ര ആൻഡ് മങ്കൂസ് ദേ കെ നോട്ട് സീ ദ ബോൾ സോ ബട്ട് അറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ടൈം ദർ കെയിം two of other spectators two other spectators one was a mina and other a crow so two other spectators came the to see the to witness the uh, incident to witness the fight or to witness the battle who was the two spectators yes a crow and a mina they both came to witness the fight between between whom between crow and uh, sorry between uh, cobra and mongoose okay so now uh, very battle is going on the cobra stood on very defensive and you know cobra uh, le is very poisonous uh, and the uh, sharp fangs were fully of deadly venom cobra da hood endan hood nu rnya patti le appo avrde aa oru aa fang sharp fangs le full of deadly poison and deadly venom aan appo both are very powerful who uh, cobra and uh, mongoose both are very powerful and the fight is going on between deadly fight is going on between the mongoose and cobra and um, uh, with uh, at first we will uh, imagine that at first we will think that uh, mongoose 
is going to be uh, fallen mongoose is going to fail the match or uh, the cobra is going to win but the mongoose is very strong he is fighting with the cobra and um, uh, the cobra uh, what this mongoose is biting the snake on the bark and darting away again out of rage and at that time uh, what happened is that the crow and miner miner they are witnessing the incident no the crow and miner both hurled upwards they both uh, hurled themselves at him but they only collided heavily and both were um, sh uh, shrieking at each other and then they returned to the cactus plant nothing avarku onnum edabadan pattunnilla avaru just kandondirikkana pakshe idil aarana maina maina is very clever maina is very clever aanu maina endha cheyadu nicha ee incident maina ki manasilai ivadu ninnittu kaari illa annalathu maina ki manasilai what so what he did is that maina avade oru bhagathu ninnu cactus plant inde avade ninnittu വീണ്ടും ഇൻസിഡന്റ് കണ്ടുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് ബട്ട് ക്രോ ഹി ഓൾസോ ഹി ഇന്റർഫിയർ വിത്ത് ദ ഇൻസിഡന്റ് മൈ ക്രോ എന്ത് ചെയ്തു പിന്നെ ഈ ഫൈറ്റിന്റെ ഇടയിൽ കയറി ഹി ഇന്റർഫിയർ ചെയ്യാണ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഹി യൂസ് ടു ഇന്റർഫിയർ ഹി ഇന്റർഫിയർ വിത്ത് ദാറ്റ് ബാറ്റൻ അങ്ങനെ എന്തായി ക്രോ ഇസ് ഹേർട്ട് അങ്ങനെ ഈ സ്നേക്കിന്റെ ടെയില് തട്ടിയിട്ട് ക്രോ തെറിച്ചു വീഴാണ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് അപ്പോ ദൻ എഗെയിൻ ദ ഫൈറ്റ് ഇസ് ഗോയിങ് ഓൺ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ മങ്കൂസ് ആൻഡ് ദ uh uh mangoes and the cobra then blood twisted out glistened on the cobra's back cobra struck again then again mangoes sprang aside jumped in and bit then uh what happened the third round also followed the same course it's a brew it's a fight going on between them and finally who won the uh, victory is for mongoose but we didn't expect that we thought that cobra will win the battle but actually mongoose won the battle so okay but then when the boy returned uh, to the home he narrate the whole incident to his grandfather uh, he narrate the fight between the mongoose and cobra and the narrator was pleased because mongoose had won uh, the match Uh, and he uh, he was uh, he also encouraged mongoose to live in the garden uh, for what to keep away all the snakes because mongoose was so powerful and he encouraged to uh, encourage him to live in the garden so that no snakes will be there in the garden and uh, also he used sometimes he used to fed up with the scraps left out from the kitchen and um, uh, he never used to tame it because the domestic the wild mongoose is more better than domestic mongoose adhe the wild mongoose ana kudal nalladhu valartuna dilelum nalladhu wild type la mongoose ana so he never used to tame it then uh, uh, sometimes from the berry entry uh, the narrator used to see mongoose patrolling in the garden adhe uh, the mongoose ne edaki garden le top of the tree le irikkumba thanne he used to see mongoose mongoose ne kaanarundu ee garden lode nadakkunnathu sometimes he used to see him uh, with an egg in his mouth that mongoose in adike adike or egg kaanarukkund but he never he had in uh, because uh, the grandfather did in grandmother would forgive him for stealing the eggs because he didn't uh, harm the animals in the garden and they didn't animals in allenge they didn't they didn't birds in onum harm cheyarilla so uh, the grandmother didn't punish the mongoose okay then the banyan tree was also a setting of another strange case of the gray squirrel and the white rat grandfather bought a white rat uh, from a bazaar for four annas and uh, this white rat uh, actually uh, the grandfather used to take care of that white rat but sometimes the narrator also narratorum edakya white rat ne ee tree inde banyan tree inde mold rest cheyna samayathikkokke kondrarukkane undu ee white rat ne kondrarund so endana avadu oru friendship ee squirrel site ok oru friendship maintain cheyidirunnu aa ree white rat oru friendship maintain cheyidirunnu oru mich edakki branches lude ok chutti karangi ponadukke kaanarundu arakkana white rat and this tiny gray squirrel okay uh, then uh, at that time the squirrel started building nest nest paniya thodi but first uh, uh, narrator uh, narrator in the pocket la uh, pocket la ane nest paniyan shramichirunnu squirrel used to uh, 
മേക്ക് നെസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ഇൻസൈഡ് ദ പോക്കറ്റ് എങ്ങനെയാണ് കാണാറ് നേരേറ്റർ ക്ലോത്ത്സ് ഒക്കെ റിമൂവ് ചെയ്യുന്ന സമയത്ത് ഇതിൻ്റെ ഉള്ളിൽ പീസസ് ഓഫ് സ്ട്രോ ആൻഡ് ഗ്രാസ് ഫോളിങ് അതായത് ഗ്രാസിൻ്റെയും സ്ട്രോവിൻ്റെ ഒക്കെ പീസുകൾ ഈ പോക്കറ്റിൽ നിന്ന് കാണാൻ പറ്റും അങ്ങനെ മനസ്സിലായി നെസ്റ്റ് പണിയാറുള്ളത് പോക്കറ്റിലാണെന്നുള്ളത് ഇടയ്ക്ക് മനസ്സിലായിരുന്നു ദെൻ ദെൻ വൺ ഡേ ഒരു ദിവസം അങ്ങനെ വൺ തിങ് സംതിങ് ഹാപ്പൻ അത് ഗ്രാൻഡ് മദേഴ്സ് മീറ്റിംഗ് നീഡിൽ നീഡിലില്ലേ തയ്ക്കുന്ന നമുക്ക് എപ്പോഴും ഗ്രാൻഡ് മദറിൻ്റെ ഇപ്പൊ സ്റ്റോറീസിലായാലും എന്തിലായാലും ബുക്സിലൊക്കെ നമുക്കൊരു ഗ്രാൻഡ് മദറിന്റെ ഒരു ഇമേജ് കിട്ടുമ്പോൾ എങ്ങനെയായിരിക്കും ഒരു നിറ്റിംഗ് നീഡിലായിട്ട് ഇങ്ങനെ തയ്ച്ചിരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു ഗ്രാൻഡ് മദറിന്റെ ഒരു ഇമേജ് ആണ് നമ്മുടെ മനസ്സിലല്ലേ അപ്പൊ വൺ ഡേ ദ ഗ്രാൻഡ് മദേഴ്സ് നിറ്റിംഗ് നീഡിൽ വാസ് മിസ്സിംഗ് സോ എവറി വൺ വാസ് സെർച്ചിംഗ് ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് നീഡിൽ ആ നീഡിലിന് വേണ്ടി എല്ലാവരും തിരഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന സമയമായിരുന്നു അങ്ങനെ തെരഞ്ഞു പിടിച്ച് തെരഞ്ഞു പിടിച്ച് ഒരുപാട് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റിഗേറ്റ് ചെയ്തതിനു ശേഷം എവിടെയാണ് കിട്ടിയത് ബാനിയൻ ട്രീന്റെ മുകളിലെ ഈ ഗ്രാൻഡ് മദറിന്റെ നിറ്റിംഗ് നീഡിൽ ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് ചെയ്തു ആരും ബോയിന് ബോയ് കണ്ടെത്തിയിരുന്നു സോ പിന്നെ അപ്പോൾ ഹി വാസ് സർപ്രൈസ് ഇതെങ്ങനെയാണ് ഗ്രാൻഡ് മദറിന്റെ നിറ്റിംഗ് നീഡിൽ ഇവിടെ എത്തുന്നതെന്ന് സർപ്രൈസ്ഡ് ആയിട്ട് നിൽക്കുന്ന സമയത്താണ് ഹി ഡിസ്കവേർഡ് ദ ഹോൾ വാസ് ക്രാം വിത്ത് നിറ്റ് അവിടെ എന്താണ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നത് അവിടെ ഒരു നെസ്റ്റ് വനതേക്കാണ് അവിടെ മൂന്ന് ബേബി വൈറ്റ് സ്ക്വിറൽസ് ബേബി വൈറ്റ് സ്ക്വിറൽസ് കാണാണ് ചെയ്തേക്കണേ മൂന്ന് ബേബി വൈറ്റ് സ്ക്വിറൽസ് സോ എവറി വൺ വാസ് ആസ്റ്റിഷ് എവറി വൺ വാസ് സർപ്രൈസ് ടു സീ ദാറ്റ് നോ വൺ ഹാവ് സീൻ സച്ച് എ വൈറ്റ് സ്ക്വിറൽ ബിഫോർ അങ്ങനെ ഒരു വൈറ്റ് സ്ക്വിറലിനെ ആരും കണ്ടിട്ടില്ല ഗ്രേ സ്ക്വിറലിനെ കണ്ടിട്ടുണ്ട് അല്ലാതെ വൈറ്റ് സ്ക്വിറലിനെ ദ ഹാവിൻ സീൻ ഇറ്റ് ബട്ട് ഗ്രാൻഡ് ഫാദർ ഗ്രാൻഡ് മദർ ആൻഡ് ദ ബോയ് ദീസ് ത്രീ വർ സർപ്രൈസ് വൈൽ സീൻ ദിസ് ഗ്രേ വൈറ്റ് സ്ക്വിറൽ and at that time uh, they were confused they got puzzled for some time and they was thinking that how come enganeyana ingane or white squirrel ivada vannekunnu ennalladu chindichondirikkunna samayathana grandfather told me uh, uh, so at that time uh, he mentioned ay the boy parnu usual frequent visit undavarunde ee white rat inde frequent visit undavarunde ee banyan tree le അപ്പൊ എല്ലാവരും ഇങ്ങനെ കൺഫ്യൂസിംഗ് ആയിട്ട് നിൽക്കുന്ന സമയത്താണ് അറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ടൈം ദ ബോയ് ടോൾ ദാറ്റ് ബോയ് ടോൾ അബൌട്ട് ദ ഫ്രീക്വന്റ് വിസിറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ വൈറ്റ് റാറ്റ് വൈറ്റ് റാറ്റിന്റെ വിസിറ്റിന്റെ കാര്യം പറഞ്ഞപ്പോ ഗ്രാൻഡ് ഫാദർ റിയലൈസ് ദാറ്റ് ഹൂ ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് ഹൂ ഇസ് ദ ഫാദർ ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് വൈറ്റ് റാറ്റ് ഹൂ ഇസ് ദ ഫാദർ ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് വൈറ്റ് സ്ക്വിറൽ യെസ് വൈറ്റ് റാറ്റ് വൈറ്റ് റാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ ഫാദർ ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് വൈറ്റ് സ്ക്വിറൽ സോ റാറ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് സ്ക്വിറൽസ് വർ റിലേറ്റഡ് ടു Uh, grandmother uh, grandmother also to, grandfather told me th- uh, told the boy that the rat must be the father and they have uh, some kind of relation uh, with each other and it was possible for them to have offspring also but possible aanu avarle endha kunnumal undavanulla possibility undu nu parayanu so our chapter is over nammada chapter kanju appo from this it is ഈ ഒരു ചാപ്റ്ററിൽ നിന്ന് നമുക്ക് മനസ്സ് എന്ത് മനസ്സിലായി അതായത് നേച്ചറിലെ വേരിയസ് ക്രിയേച്ചേഴ്സിനെ നമ്മൾ ഇപ്പം ഈ ഒരു ചാപ്റ്ററിൽ തന്നെ നമ്മൾ കുറെ ക്യാരക്ടേഴ്സിനെ പരിചയപ്പെട്ടു അല്ലേ കുറെ നേച്ചറിലെ ക്രിയേച്ചേഴ്സിനെ തന്നെ അപ്പോൾ ഫുള്ള് എന്താണ് നമ്മളെ ട്രാൻസ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്യാണ് ഒരു വേൾഡ് ഓഫ് നേച്ചറിലേക്ക് നമ്മളെ ട്രാൻസ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്യാണ് റെസ്ക് ഇൻ ബോണ്ട് ഈ ചാപ്റ്ററിലൂടെ അഡ്വെഞ്ചേഴ്സ് ഇൻ എ ബാനിയൻ ട്രീ അഡ്വെഞ്ചേഴ്സ് ഇൻ എ ബാനിയൻ ട്രീ അല്ലേ ശരിക്കും ഒരു അഡ്വെഞ്ചർ തന്നെ കണ്ടു മെയിൻ ആയിട്ട് നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ഇൻസിഡൻ്റ് ആണ് വിച്ച് ഇൻസിഡൻ്റ് വി വി ഹാവ് മോസ്റ്റ് എക്സൈറ്റിംഗ് ഇൻസിഡൻറ്റ് എന്തായിരുന്നു യെസ് ദ ഫൈറ്റ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ മംഗൂസ് ആൻഡ് ദ ക്രോക്കോബ്ര ഓക്കെ സോ യു ഷുഡ് റീഡ് ദ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് വെരി കെയർഫുള്ളി ബിക്കോസ് ഐ ജസ്റ്റ് ഐ ഓൺലി ജസ്റ്റ് സംറൈസ് ദ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ഓൺലി just summarize the test the fight between them it is uh, really if there is need to read each and every line of that uh, text uh, of that particular incident not that particular incident you should read the text thoroughly so that you can answer for the uh, exam okay uh, then uh, so in this chapter it is clear that there are so many uh, uh, creatures isn't it the mangoes cobra then white rat then gray squirrel uh, and at last white squirrel as it so how the nature and human beings are related means how the there is a mutual dependence or end up end up they are
then try to un uh, understand the difficult words try to refer, refer to a glossary and underline understand the difficult meanings okay